Hey guys. Um, I'm going to turn this off so you can not be distracted by it. So I have the cloud of alpaca all ready to go. I've just about got it finished. Um, and I have this whole shelf full of alpaca. <laughs> I'd like to show the whole cloud to you, but it's a bit much. So this is what it looks like after I have carded it. Uh, what I prefer to do with it is put it through a wool picker which would open it up and drop all the gunk down the bottom, but I don't have a wool picker. And so um, this is after I've hand carded it. If it wasn't so clean, I couldn't have hand carded it. It would have retained all of the nastiness in there. Um, but it's super, super clean. It's a pretty rust color. This is the first of the hats. And um, again, I don't like to use the regular carding combs. Let's see, where did I put them? Um, I don't like to use the regular carding cones because they just don't get things clean enough and they create a ratty fiber. Uh, the only reason I'm able to do that is because the fiber is so clean and lofty. And I'll probably have to use it for the Angora. Just because the teeth on the comb carters are so far apart that with Angora it, it would kind of send fluff up everywhere and that's really not what you want. So I'm going to be doing this one into a two ply and I thought that the Angora would go a lot farther than it has. She sent me about a quarter of a pound of each of the colors is about what I'm thinking that was because it was a, a total of a two pound box and I had four different fleeces in it about the same amount of each. So I think that what I got was about a quarter pound and a quarter pound um, I'm thinking that it's going to be enough for one hat. But but not a lot more than that. Um, we'll kind of have to wait and see. It's always really deceptive. You look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so much fiber, that is so much yarn, there's no way that I'm going to get through that in a hat. I mean, a hat's not that big, but when you stop and think about it, uh, that hat doesn't have a lot of space between it, and it's, what, probably 12, 16 inches long from bottom to top, and uh, it, anyway, it's always deceptive. It looks like it would be plenty and then it turns out to be less than what you thought it was. And so that's why whenever you start a project, you always want to do more than what you think you're going to need. And that's what's happened with all of the sweaters is that I've done a few skeins more than what I needed. And um, that's why my uh, guess on how much fiber it would take was so far short was because I had forgotten that I needed to uh, make sure that I made extra. Now that's not a huge big deal. A lot of it, well in fact all of it I've used in further projects that Mr. Eight sweaters ordered. Um, I've used it in gloves. I'm not going to use it in hats because the hats are on the sensitive skin of your face and it can make you break out if you've got some kind of scratchy wool. And that was a big uh, concern that the people who ordered the hats from me had. And so I had decided to use the Angora from my rabbits, um, but I'm kind of running out of time and since Growing in Faith Farm sent me all this really nice alpaca, I actually think the alpaca is going to be nicer and so I'm using the alpaca instead. Um, right now what I'm waiting for is a wool picker. It's supposed to be here anytime now so that I can use it for the next, uh, I have four, five hats, five or six, five or six hats total to do and all of them would benefit from being put through a wool picker. So I have a wool picker coming and yeah 